Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, the truck didn't start then. Unfortunately, or fortunately, I've actually stopped driving this over the winter period. It has no heating, no ABS. Um, it's, I'm not gonna say it's dodgy because people will actually cry, but if you've ever driven uh, 40, 50, 60, 70 year old car, whatever it is, something from like the later sort of generation of cars, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I don't want to slide into someone, if that makes any sense. So, I actually parked this up for the winter, like two months if that. It's actually now March, it's getting a bit warmer, so I actually want to start uh, start driving this thing. What Slinky, what do you want? Slinky in the background there, giving it the big one as usual. And it's dead. I've actually pushed it, some Eagle Eye viewers would realise that I've actually pushed it from uh, my driveway back to here, because I was going to, I thought I was going to have to bump start it if I'm quite honest, but what I'm going to probably do is pull the battery out, see what size battery I need, maybe get a bigger one, and yeah, we're going to assess the situation as to why it doesn't start, it's probably the battery, in fact, it's definitely going to be the battery, although this has actually been on a trickle charger, I've probably unplugged it at some point, and I, let's be honest. Ride or die. out of the truck um, relatively normal battery I think um, I've taken it out mainly to get dimensions so it fits back on the uh, actual block that it's on but I think I can go a little bit bigger than this so we will get a larger one obviously we're working with the Volvo engine in this so we'll go off what size battery the Volvo engine would have but I'll try and upsize it a little bit we shall see off to uh, Dorset Auto Spares I think see what we can get now the obviously terrible youtuber I am didn't actually video anything between me going to get the battery and actually fitting it to the truck so um, it's fitted now yes assess this in many other videos and there will be someone there in the comment section giving it the big one some coolant has leaked I need to mop that up the wiring terrible yeah because it's a chopped up truck just say hot rod every time and yeah that makes it okay. Anyway, let's see if it starts. That's the next thing, let's see if it starts. Put you guys on here. I'll be well happy if it starts, because at the end of the day, I think it is just a battery, so that's fine. I need to put a new battery in it anyway, because I bought this truck with that battery in it, and I think it's quite an old battery, so. Let's find out. Oh, fuel pump can hear it. And that's why this truck has got a Volvo engine in it. Not only does it start straight away after two, two and a half months, it is idling perfectly. If this had the original engine in it, it would probably not start and run like that straight away. So mighty Volvo engine, 30 MPG as well. Good time, just go petrol station and fill it up, shall we? <laughs> running all right i want to give it a little bit of a drive you know go through the brakes make sure it's all happy and stuff because as you sit up a car for multiple months obviously that's what you're going to do and i understand there's people out there be like oh but you need to check everything before you do this before you do that it's fine it actually runs really really well we really did brakes on this thing um in the last sort of couple of videos that we did and it seems to be running completely perfect which is nice Love the flutter on this thing, it's so funny. When people hear that, they're like, what? What's going on in here? And they think, they think it's got a diesel in it, which is a funny thing, but it hasn't. It's got the 2.3 litre Volvo engine from 
the 940 estate in this uh, mighty Dodge pickup truck. So understand there's people out there that won't get that. I absolutely love the idea of it because it's turnkey ease means that this car is very, very simple and easy to actually daily drive. I wanted to put some serious mileage on my next American car that I had, so that's why this thing sort of exists, if I'm quite honest. Still kicks down. Yeah, she's good. <laughs> Absolutely love this thing. It's a proper, proper laugh to drive. It's one of those things that some people understand why I would have a car like this. Some people will not understand whatsoever, and that's cool. It's okay to not understand people's weird car choices. But yeah, brakes seem all right, steering seems all right. She's good for another year's worth of messing about, going to shows, and enjoying on a Sunday going to the pub. You know, I haven't driven this in a while, and the amount of people that are like thumbs up and just appreciating this thing is funny. In fact, where you guys are sat right now, so you're a passenger in theory, this thing can actually accommodate my tripod with no problems whatsoever. <laughs> so just stopped at JW Watershine and Look what I've walked into as we've got the truck just sat here. Very nice. Look what's out for the day. Oh. Now I think you guys would appreciate this bit of content because I haven't seen this car in a while and new wheels. Very, very nice. Absolutely gleaming as well. He's actually out um, doing a little bit uh, in it today. So I sort of saw him a um, couple of roads away. Thought I'd stop in and see the uh, Cosworth. Just looks insane in person. You forget how mad these things are. Yeah, I'm about that. It looks quite funny in comparison to the truck because it is actually just su from such a different generation and a different sort of um, car enthusiast, I suppose. Although I appreciate them, don't get me wrong. I think everyone does. It's a very, very different story from that um, old pickup truck that's cut up and got patina all over it to an absolutely mint condition Cosworth. Yeah, I thought to show you guys that because I like cars and I like that Cosworth, it's very, very beautiful. So after a little spirited drive, the truck is back at the office, the FYD HQ, and I'm super happy with, one, how this thing is running. Um, got it cleaned as well from Jason, but completely forgot to actually show you guys the cleaning process, but we, we show enough cleaning on this channel, it's fine. One of the things I wanted to show you guys, as I pull the bonnet up, oh, is, new battery and all that. Um, I had idling problems, which I've solved as well. Thank you to a couple of mates that actually solved this. Um, we've just brought the idle up a little bit, tweaked a couple of bits on the actual um, throttle as well. So it actually idles in traffic now, which is lovely. It doesn't shut off, which is a good thing. So I'm very, very happy with that. And yeah, I hope you guys like this car. I absolutely love this. And again, I bought this specifically for me for as like sort of a hard work thank you to myself if that makes any sense and i understand it isn't relatable content and i do like to bring relatable content to this channel it is one of those things i like doing like the 106 it is relatable in ways this necessarily isn't to some people but i hope you guys appreciate it anyway because i absolutely love the american car stuff especially things that are like chopped up and a bit ratty this thing is just pretty I don't know, pretty ultimate, ultimate like pickup truck, in my opinion. I do love the way this thing sits though. In a weird way, I don't really want to go any further with the lowering, but I do want to make it lower. I think bringing down the tyre size would be the main thing to do here. Bringing the tyre size down, I do have the uh, lowering blocks that I need to put in the back. So we'll be doing that very soon on the channel if the actual weather keeps it up, because it is very, very nice today. What I'm going to do, Let's go back in the office, edit this video so you guys can watch it. And yeah, I hope you like the truck content. There is more to come now. It's getting a little bit nicer out in the UK. But yeah, super happy. It's just, I know it's weird, but I like to just have time with the car and I want to show you guys around it because, you know, it hasn't been on the channel for a while. And it's just always nice to show it off, I think. It's one of those 
cars you don't necessarily see all the time and when I get to see it out you know just sat outside the office or cruising around going to Morrison's in it it's always quite an event anyway guys I'm gonna stop blabbering on thank you so much for watching if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't I'll see you on the next one